Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping back my channel. Hopefully the audio was a little better in this video. You know, I really wish Canon would keep a few things consistent throughout their ecosystem. One being the settings for the microphone. Come on, can't we just leave that the same? Why is it different from the SL2 than it is in the M50? Another thing, and it's very simple, it's, it's really just easy. Can we please make the SD cards facing the same way in every single camera? Why do we switch that up? It's weird. I don't understand why they do it. But in case you could not tell from the thumbnail, today we're gonna learn how to do this. And I like to call this the frosted panel look. So you can use this in your intros or you can use it even in your thumbnails. It's really simple to do. I saw someone do a tutorial on this very thing, but they did it in one of those very expensive pay by the month programs. And I like watching those tutorials because I like to find a way to get that to work within LumaFusion. And if you know, if you remember when you purchased LumaFusion, what was it, 20 bucks? And that's it. Uh, you pay 20 bucks for LumaFusion and you're done. I absolutely love LumaFusion. So hopefully the audio in this video is a lot better than the last two videos because trying to figure out the audio in the M50 was just ridiculous. But let's go ahead and jump right on into the tutorial. And I like to do everything with an overhead camera and I'm happy to see that Rob HK is actually utilizing the overhead camera as well. I think it makes it so much easier for everyone to follow along. All right, pick out the video that you want to work with, drop it into your timeline. Then what we're going to do is add a title right to the area where you want that frosted panel to come in. And to add a title, all we're going to do is hit the plus symbol right down here on the lower toolbar and just hit overlay title and that's going to automatically drop in a plain title at four seconds. So just make it as long as you think you'd like that to have appear. And I'm gonna pull it out to be around six seconds. That looks good. So we're going to double click that to get into the edit window. And I'm immediately going to, as usual, we're just gonna throw that away. So we're going to hit the plus, oh look at Libby how cute she is. Let's go ahead and hit the plus symbol and we are going to choose shape. Okay, and that's immediately going to drop in a white square or a white rectangle. Let's go ahead and just make that the entire size of the screen. Believe it or not, it really is just this simple. All we're going to do is dial down the opacity of that white square. That's it. And now what we're going to do is add a title. So we will hit the plus sign and we will choose text. Double click the text so that we can edit that. And I'm going to put Libby and choose a nice thick font. This Avenir Black looks good. Make it as big as you want to have it appear. Center it where you want it to be centered. And now I'm sure you know what's coming next. We are going to turn this into green. Back that out. And now what we're going to do is going to the color and effects. We're going to go to the key for chroma key and we are going to hit green screen. And there you go. I mean, that's it. That's absolutely how simple that was. Now, of course, you can tool in here the opacity of this little frosted panel. You can make it heavier or you can decrease the opacity, whatever it is, however you think it looks the best with your particular video clip. And that's absolutely how simple it was, a quick little hack. All right, guys, and that's how simple it was to do that frosted panel. Well, I thank you so much for joining me and until next time, wear your sunblock.